Well, the ultimate goal of Kim Jong-un is the survivability of the regime. Conducting nuclear tests signals to his own people the power of North Korea, and it also continues to send a message to the international community that North Korea will continue to advance its nuclear program. North Korea ultimately wants to be accepted as a nuclear armed state, and it feels that the possession of its nuclear weapons will prevent any aggressive acts from the United States or South Korea. So it has both internal and external dimensions. Well, North Korea will have taken every precaution to try and prevent radioactive material from leaking into the atmosphere, because that does give the international community more of an indication of what type of explosive device North Korea may have tested. However, it could be weeks or even months until the international community is able to collect these particles and analyze them, if they're able to do so at all. North Korea also is likely pursuing a miniaturized nuclear device that it could fit on a missile that it would be capable of delivering. So when North Korea may have made advances from this test, it could have to do with the material that North Korea used, uh, for the core of the bomb, uh, typically North Korea has used plutonium, but there are indications they may be trying to produce weapons using highly enriched uranium. The North Korean nuclear threat is often overly exaggerated because it's frequently presented in, in the media that North Korea can target the United States with nuclear warheads. Uh, North Korea has not deployed a missile with a sufficient range to target the United States. And there are significant other technical barriers that North Korea would need to overcome, uh, such as ensuring that the warhead could re-enter the atmosphere. All of these need to be overcome before North Korea could, could truly threaten the United States with a nuclear warhead. Atomic bombs use nuclear fission to produce an explosion. Nuclear fission means that the atoms at the core of a nuclear device are split during the explosion. These, advice, these devices involve a core of highly enriched uranium or plutonium. Hydrogen bombs are a more advanced design that are significantly more powerful. It could almost be described as a bomb inside of a bomb. Initially, there is a fission reaction, meaning that the atoms start to split. But then there is a secondary explosive that causes the atoms to then fuse together, hence the idea of a fusion reaction. And that is what creates a significantly more powerful explosion. The fusion element oft involves hydrogen, and that's why it's often referred to as a hydrogen bomb.